Okay, so for this one, we're talking about metric unit conversion. The metric system is a little different from the standard system in that it's in base 10. It's actually a lot easier than the standard system. So with the yards and feet and inches, you'd have like 12 inches and a foot and then three feet in a yard. In this one, it's all in base 10. I'm gonna take some notes on the side so I remember what I'm doing. So I know that my base for the metric units when I'm talking about distance is gonna be meter. When I'm talking about distance. When I'm talking about volume, it's gonna be the liter. So distance is meter, volume is liter. Now, realistically, the ones I'm actually gonna use, I only have a couple. Going down, I have the centimeter and the millimeter. There's one millimeter, if, if, there's, if there's one meter, in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. So if I have one meter, I have 100 centimeters. But by contrast, if I have 100 centimeters, it means I have one meter. They are exactly the same. For millimeters, there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Okay? 1,000 millimeters in one meter. If I have one meter, I have 1,000 millimeters. Going the other way, going bigger, if I have a kilometer, I have 1,000 meters in a kilometer. 1,000 meters in a kilometer. For, for volume, I have centiliters. So there are 100 centiliters in a liter. I have 1,000 milliliters in a liter. And in a kiloliter, I have 1,000 liters in a kiloliter. 1,000 liters in a kiloliter. The same can be said for grams, which is not on this sheet, but if I have grams, I'll have kilograms, milligrams. There are 1,000 grams in a, well, 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And there are 1,000 1,000 milligrams in a gram, okay? So over here, when we're talking about some actual conversions, I'm just gonna zoom in on this spot right here. I have on here some really big number. I have, let's start with this one. I have 0 0.000238 meters, and I wanna figure out how many centimeters I have. If I have 100 centimeters per meter. That means in order to figure out how many centimeters I have, I have to multiply. That's, that's because I'm gonna have many more centimeters than I have meters, so I have to expand my number. Even though my quantity isn't actually changing, I have to think about it in a different way. When I'm going from meters to centimeters, I have more centimeters, so I have to multiply to get more of them. So if I do 0 0.000, Two three eight times one hundred. I'll end up having a couple zeros. I'll have zeros across the board here. I'll have a placeholder. Zeros across the board here as well. Then one. I'll have two placeholders. One times eight is eight. One times three is three. One times two is two. The rest are going to be zeros. I can add them up. Zero zero. 832. Now, I have to count my decimals. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Count that again, make sure I'm right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. So let's move this over six times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm out of space, but I can always have one more. A zero and a decimal. I will have 0 0.0238 centimeters. I could have also made my life just a little easier. This is lovely and that's how you do it, but there is a shortcut. There is a shortcut. If I move this over two decimal places, one, two, I'll have the same exact thing. The reason I could do that is because I'm multiplying times 100. So I'm have meters times 100 equals centimeters. So I can move it over two decimal places, two decimal places, and shortcut it. That's how we do it. For number, now let's try this one. There are 0 0.0079 centimeters. I want to convert to millimeters. This is really hard. 
because we're not going through our standard meter land anymore. To get from centimeters to millimeters, I kind of really think of what I'm doing. If there are 100 centimeters in a meter, and there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter, that means there should be 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So I multiply 100 times 10 to get to 1,000. So for this one, I just do 0 0.0079 times 10, and I should get zeros across the board. Placeholder, 97, bunch of zeros. Add them up, I get 0, 97, then a bunch of zeros. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places. I should have 0 0.079 millimeters. I was going to make my life easier. Since I know it's times 10, I can just move over one place. 0 0.079, 0 0.079, totally fine. What if I'm going bigger? I have 0 0.21 kilometers. I'm going to convert it to meters. Okay. I know that I have meters times 1,000 is kilometers, so kilometer equals meter times a thousand. So I know I have a thousand meters per kilometer. So to do this, hmm, I gotta figure this out. I'm converting from kilometer to meter. I'm gonna have more meters and fewer kilometers. So I have to expand, I have to multiply by 1,000. So I do 0 0.21 times 1,000. I'm gonna have a bunch of zeros. Oh God, this is so painful. Why can't I do my shortcut? I absolutely could. If I'm going to have, if I'm going to have a thousand, I'm going to have one, two, three decimal places. So I can go one, two, three decimal places. So I'll have 210 meters as my result. If I did this out, I would have uh, zeros, placeholder zero, two placeholders. God, this is going to take forever. And finally. Finally, 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 I did that one, that one, that one, and this one, one, two, two, one, zero, 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 two decimal places. I have 210. Either way, I'll have the same exact result. This way is just a lot, a lot shorter and doesn't require as much hard multiplication. If you have any questions, please let me know. On the back is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a table format that we've seen before. That should be the homework for tonight. Um, have a good one. Please let me know if you have any questions.